What's going on guys, it's Simo. So today I'm bringing to you the top four Magical Musketeer deck profile from Pro Play Tour Dallas. Now I just wanted to take the time to thank each and every one of you for attending. The event was an absolute blast. And I want to let you guys know, especially for you guys on the West Coast, that Pro Play Tour Las Vegas is our last and final stop before the Invitational in January. It's another $2,000 prize pool event. It's only 20 bucks to enter. And if you get your invite at this event, you're invited to the $10,000 cash prize pool Invitational in Orlando taking place in January. Now, what's cool about this is that there's also a regional the day before in Las Vegas on Saturday at the exact same venue, I might add. So on Saturday, you can go ahead and go to the regional and do that. And then Sunday, you can come to Pro Play Tour Las Vegas and have your chance at winning some cash. So it's going to be a great weekend. I really hope to see you guys there. And I'll, of course, be doing live stream commentary coverage for the event and signing cards, taking pictures, all that fun stuff. So links are in the description if you want to pre-register. I hope to see you guys there. And without further ado, I hope you enjoy this top four deck profile. What's going on guys? It's Simo here at Pro Play Tour Dallas and who are we with? Safwan Ramen. And what did you do? I got top four with uh, Magical Musketeers okay. at PPG Dallas. So why did you decide to play this deck? Why did I play this deck? Um, so I said it earlier in the interview with you, um, I didn't want to play meta, I wanted to play rogue. And this, this deck has such a good awesome. matchup with every meta deck right now. And people don't expect it. They don't have sides for it. And uh, this deck is just so good. Uh, I, this, that's all I have to say about it. Yeah. You got top four, so clearly, you know, you did yeah. All right, let's we'll see what you got. All right. Please make sure that your team represents. We start off with the main deck. We got uh, Triple Caspar, obviously the best Musketeer monster. So pretty much. Any musk magical musketeer monster, you can activate uh, spell trap cards from your hand. That's musketeer, and this one allows you to search any musket card. So that's pretty good. Uh, next, we run triple starfire. Uh, this one allows you to special summon a musketeer monster from your deck in defense position. So it's pretty nice. Helps you extend and make cards like moral sword for game, and uh, utopia double as well. Uh, then. We play uh, Triple Kid Brave. Uh, he's okay. Um, you can discard a Musketeer card to draw two cards. Uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, next, we play Double Doc. Uh, Doc is all right, um, especially mid to late game, especially when you banish cards with Desires. Uh, the only way to uh, gather resources is through the graveyard. And so uh, that's pretty cool. But you don't want to run three of it because it sucks as a normal summon. It doesn't do much. And last for the Musketeer monster, we play one Calamity, uh, primarily because of uh, Starfire bringing, bringing her out for the Utopia. Uh, that's it for the Musketeer monsters. And now for Hand Traps, we play the Triple Phantasme. Uh, absolutely broken card. Um, being able to fish out whatever you need, whether it's like hand traps or musketeer spell traps, being able to protect your musketeer monsters from like cards like Imperm or Widow Anchor, uh, is pretty good. And uh, yeah, shuffles back bricks like double or nothing. So yeah. Uh, and last for the hand traps, we play only double ash, not triple. Uh, we don't want to brick or see multiple copies of this. You run multiple other hand traps. So yeah, that's it for the monsters. Uh, moving on to the spells, we play uh, triple Imperm. I mean, uh, cross domination. <laughs> uh, this card allows, uh, I mean, if you control a musket, you can target one monster you put outside the field, negates effect, makes its attack, defense zero. So, what you do is you just target any other monsters, make it zero, go Utopia double, swing for 10,000 game. So, that's pretty nice. Uh, next, we main deck triple super poly. Uh, it hits almost every meta deck, even some road deck to some extent. Uh, card's insane. I can't respond to it. Uh, Konami needs to hit this card. It's pretty good. Uh, next, we run Triple Cosmic Cyclone. Uh, some people ask me, why don't you cite it? Uh, I think it's absolutely necessary to main it. Decks like uh, you know Orchids set on Crescendo, Widow Anchor, all this stuff, you need to bait it out, and those Floodgates, but there can only be one. All those cards kill you. So you have to have a way to destroy those cards, or get rid of those cards. And next, we play Double Instant Fusion. Uh, allows you to get out your Mud Dragon to help either protect or um, go into Utopia. And then Thousand Eyes Restrict to get rid of problematic cards. Excellent bait card. I'd always thought out a copy because uh, opening multiple copies is a brick. So uh, yeah. Uh, next we run Double Desires, cards insane, says draw two. And then you get to search potentially or activate a Musketeer card. Uh, it's nice. Uh, then we played the one upstart, uh, free, and then the one double or nothing. Uh, quite frankly, uh, in, the, um, in the tournament, uh, yesterday, I'd never resolved Utopia Double once. Really? Never once. Okay. And today, I, do, I did like two or maybe even three times. Uh, the, I, I opened this card like twice, and it was a brick, but fortunately I had cards like Super Poly to discard off or Phantasm to shuffle it back. So, but I mean, I still play it. Cards is amazing. Uh, and so, yeah, that's it for the spells. And now moving on to the traps, we play uh, Triple Desperado. Card says target one face-up card, destroy it. 
Uh, nothing much more to say. Uh, next we play Triple Last Stand. Uh, some people play at two, that's absolutely incorrect. You need to play three of this. Uh, primarily because of desire to advantage copies of it. Uh, you need to see this card. The card itself wins games to counter trap, so not you can't really respond to it. Uh, next, we played the one dancing needle. The card's insane. The uh, card says Call by the Grave, DD Crow times three. Uh, I may up this card, I'm not sure. Uh, and then last, from the Musketeer card, we play Crooked Crown. Card's insane. Uh, during either player's main phase, you can special summon a Musketeer card. So, cards like Compulsory or, you know, also guys when they bounce your stuff. Uh, your normal summon is very critical, and so like if you're able to like chain this and summon your musket, you can further on with your play. Also, if they were to activate a card in a different column, you can summon the musket to that column to trigger the musket card's effect, and they can't use that monster zone till the end of the turn. Uh, that that's not really important, but I mean cards cards really good. It's a good extender. It's a 40 card deck. Uh, moving on to the extra deck, we played the worst card in our extra deck, triple <laughs> max. Uh, might cut it down to one but uh, in all honesty, won me so many games. Uh, the fact that you can potentially summon four or five musket monsters or search four or five musket speller traps is absolutely insane. Only reason why the deck is good now, going second, uh, you already know. Uh, next, Boral Sword for game. Nightmare Phoenix is amazing. I, I always uh, link it with this. Co-link it, draw a card, so it's good. And then the one unicorn, I'm planning to cut it. Uh, I don't know, I, there's a lot of cards that I can play instead of this. I don't know why, what, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut this card for sure. Uh, next one, Link Reaver for the Restrict. And then uh, for the XYZ, we play the Utopia Package. Uh, for the Instant Fusions, we play the one Restrict, Bait, Link Reaver, whatever. And then Mud Dragon for the Utopia Protection. And then all your Super Poly targets. Uh, including Mud Dragon. Uh, this, 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 and this. Uh, they all came up today in some sort of way. They're all good. Super Poly is amazing. Breaks boards. Uh, next up for the uh, side deck, we run Triple Nibiru. Uh, card's insane. Just white board, and then you can always just cross down the token or just pop the token and just further on extend your plays. Uh, next, uh, triple mind control. Cards and saints plus one because you activate it underneath a musket card. Trigger this effect, take control of a problematic card. Excellent bait card. Card's nice. Uh, the most trash card on my side deck, I'm about to cut it. Dark Rule No More. Reason is, is because Musketeers struggle against decks like Pendulums and Dragon Links where they have seven, eight negates. And it's kind of hard to like get over it, but I did, I only saw like one Pendulum today and it didn't even like, come up. Uh, so yeah, I mean... What would you have played instead? What I played instead, uh, there's multiple options. Uh, for one, uh, I noticed a lot of people made me go first and in my side deck, there's nothing that helps me go first. So I'm thinking about maybe like a summon limit, uh, maybe Mystic Minds. I had Mystic Minds initially, but I cut it for this. Uh, Next, we play the triple evenly match. Card's nice. Um, a lot of people bringing this back. Yeah, uh, evenly match is so good because you, you, normally you just sit on like one monster and like they would just like pop it or something. You have no cards to go battle phase. All right, end of battle phase, evenly match. Uh, I, I played this True Draco guy. He used his trap, pop my musketeer, no cards in field. He went ahead and sent everything and um, attack with Draco Fighter. I was like, all right, end of battle phase, evenly match, vanish his entire, pretty much his entire field game. Uh, evenly matches is so good. Uh, then next, the MVP side. If y'all saw the stream, Red Reboots. Oh my gosh. Red Reboots. Best side card in this deck. Uh, before, for some reason, I didn't play it. I don't know what I was thinking. Card says auto win. Reason is, is because uh, you resolve it, you lose half your life points, who cares? Uh, your opponent sets an extra card, so you max, and you summon an extra monster off of it, and then uh, you're just safe. You don't have to worry about any other trap cards, and uh, yeah. Card's nice. Anything else you would have changed altogether in retrospect? Or? Uh, it's definitely the Dark Rulers would cut it, cut the Unicorn, uh, maybe adjust some stuff in the main deck. But other than that, very satisfied with the bill. Obviously got top four with it. Um, yeah, any shout outs I'll give to? Uh, first of all, I'd like to give shout outs to my two closest friends, Varun and JJ. Uh, these guys gave me more support throughout the entire weekend. And then the biggest shout out is to my brother, Ridwan, uh, for literally being my biggest support throughout my entire life. Uh, being able to pay for my entry fees and whatever cards I needed, things like that. Just being there for me means a lot. And yeah, Musketeers are nice. Play the deck. And also, one last shout out. If you guys don't know, I am DBZ439 on our, uh, check it out on YouTube. Uh, subscribe, do whatever. Um, I try to, uh, you know, help out the Yu-Gi-Oh! community as, as much as I can. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing Perfect. much to say. Thanks so much for the deck profile. Right. Appreciate it. Congratulations. Thank you.